Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another review. There is Luna. <laughs> it's a reoccurring theme. One of our best watch review of a hot air fryer Philips uh, model <laughs> was uh, also uh, a featured Luna in it. So let's hope this one will she get it. Uh, so. She just came from the vet. Yeah, sweetie. She's on a uh, medication for some chronic pain. And what they told us is that when you have a pet, and um, they're on some sort of a medication for long-term use. Sometimes they can affect the vital organs, so it's best to have them checked once in a while to see if everything is still going. That's not why we're here. We're here for something uh, uh, much happier. The ice maker. We're gonna unbox this thing and uh, you know share our conclusions with you guys. Why did we buy this thing, Mike? Why did we buy this thing? So we can make ice cream. <laughs> so we can make ice cream. We love ice cream, but either we don't have the space in the freezer or the ice cream that we can find has just too much sugar or it's just not what we like. So Mike had the idea, you know what? Why have ourselves limited by what you can find in the store? Why not try to make our own uh, ice cream? It's going to be fresh, healthier, and um, yeah, ready whenever you want it. But we also went specifically for this model because this model doesn't have one of those components that you need to do that you need to leave in the freezer to freeze up first. And so it's a compressor, so it freezes itself. It freezes. It does the whole thing one go. It's like a bread baking machine. Yeah, you just put everything in there, go, and uh, you'll end up with the outcome which is ready to, to enjoy. In this case, ice cream. Um, so yeah, so we went for the ice maker. Klarstein, <laughs> I think I'm Klarstein. I think I'm pronouncing it uh, uh, right. It's German. Yeah. Eladera, <laughs> ice maker Klarstein. So it's a compressor, which means that it freezes itself. Yeah. It freezes f by itself. Yeah. So that's important. Two liter two liters, is, which is a half a gallon capacity. But then with that comes the note that two liter doesn't mean that you can fill it up to two liter, right? Uh, you always no. have to stay below yeah. the max. You always have to stay one third below yeah. because it expands. And um, minimum is one third. So, yeah. so uh, from the box, we always try to see what we can find from the box. So as you can see, you can have it in red and in white. But since our kitchen is Bordeaux-ish red. No. We, I, I, we have for the white? I Even better. Stainless steel. Oh yeah, even better. I was actually trying to sell it to myself, but it's even better. Uh, all right, so we're gonna unbox it and uh, stall everything out and then come back to you guys. Yeah, let's go for the wide angle, guys, so that you can see the whole thing. So we just unboxed it. Uh, what Mike put on there is the lid, but in here goes this little bucket. So this is gonna be your ice bucket. This is where the good, <laughs> the goodness will be in. Uh, I just took it out just to show you guys that yeah this is this is how it works it's a really nice solid bucket yeah. I love it it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels sturdy it feels it feel flimsy yeah it doesn't feel flimsy or whimsical I love that word so you can actually enjoy the ice making process while looking at it if you wish. You can look at the ice making you, process. Yeah, you can literally look at the ice being made. Churned. Yeah. Uh, you get also uh, this measurement cup. It goes to, to, to eight ounce. Okay, one cup. You get this scoop thingy, right? That might be a little flimsy. It is a little bit flimsy, so, yeah. But maybe not then. Then again, you don't need uh, like, yeah, we have our own. We have our own. Yeah, and the trusty scoop. Yeah, and I love I love the way it looks. So the best thing you can do, but I'm sure you guys know that already if you're looking this up, have a little bit of lukewarm water at the ready when you make your uh, ice cream balls. After each time you scoop, Scoops. scoop, not, yeah? not ice cream balls. <laughs> yeah, ice cream I call them ice cream balls. When you, after after each scoop. Just uh, dunk it into the lukewarm water and then use it again. And you'll see that it will cut through ice like a hot knife through butter. Uh, butter? Butter. 
And then you get this, the vanilla sky. I don't know what this is. This is probably recipes. No, oh, this is not recipes. Oh no, it's just the manual. Okay, yeah, it's just the manual. Let's see what we can get from the manual. Okay, cleaning and care. Let me show, share that with you first because I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, how are we going to clean that thing? Uh, so it says here, take out the mixing blade, wipe it with a damp cloth. Take out the removable ball, clean it with a damp cl uh, soft cloth. Wipe the transparent lid and refill lid with a damp cloth. Refill, yeah. Remove the dirty on the body or other places with a damp. Oh, so you don't wash it? Okay. So everything you do, you do with a damp cloth. You're not supposed to like dunk it all the way in the water. No, you, can, you can wash everything. All the moving parts, you can throw them into the dishwasher. Yeah? Yeah, but this is not going to get dirty, the inside. No. Why would it? Yeah, I know. All right. So. Okay. Avoid the uh, is not placed well in time. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Use and preparation. That's also something you guys would like to know. After power up, the machine enters standby mode, then press the power button to enter the self mode, prompting you to input the working time. Okay. Okay, prepare recipe ingredients from your own recipe or from the recipe booklet here. So this book has also recipes. Note, you do not need to freeze the bowl for hours in a freezer in an advance, as this machine has a built-in comp compressor that freezes the recipe in ingredients in operation, thus ensures the output of ice cream, okay? Pour the well-prepared recipe ingredients and warm water into the removable bowl, then have a uniform mixing. Warm water? But I think we're gonna use a little bit of warm milk maybe, that will enhance the flavor. Place the mixing blade into the removable bowl, so, so it's that, so this is the mixing blade, the white plastic thing. So that one you place as last. Uh, and keep the mixing blade uh, bottom hole fitted well with the motor axis. Then put the transparent lid onto the machine and lock it anti-clockwise. That's it, guys, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. You can make your own ice. Uh, so I think they're talking about a booklet, but I don't see any booklets. I don't see any recipes here. And there aren't any. No, there aren't. But they ref but they, they refer to the recipes in the booklet. But we we didn't get any, right? Unless you throw it away. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that because look what Mike got us. Oh, this okay. this fancy ice machine recipes. It's in Dutch, but that's what it says. I'm sure you figured that out. For the ice machine. For the ice machine. So happy. Look at that. All those colors, the fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, uh, this is orange chocolate milfeuille with banana and warm rum sabayon sauce. Mm. Cappuccino tart. Uh, how, how are you going to do that? <laughs> Fresh pineapple kiwi. Mmm, guys, look at all Oh, I love, I love ice cream. Uh, orange flavored ice cream. Mmm, look at that. Mint, pineapple, double chocolate. Oh my God. Blueberries, citrus. Yum, yum, yum. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of recipes here. Mexican chocolate. Didn't know Mexico had it. Uh, chocolate uh, frambos. I don't know what frambos is in English. Wow, look at that, guys. Vanilla. Mm. Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it. <laughs> I keep reading the upper part, which doesn't match with the picture. The picture goes with the lower part. Mmm, look at that, guys. Look at that. This deliciousness. Yes, sorry. Look at the ingredients. So easy. It's milk, fine sugar, a watermelon puree, and one tablespoon of fresh citrus juice. That's it. Wow, they're so easy to make. Or this one, pina colada. It's coconut milk, milk, fine sugar, pineapple juice, 
Malibu rum, which we're not going to do. I, I can't have alcohol, but maybe Mike can try some. Uh, fresh pineapple, berries, and something to garnish it with. Mmm. I love it, guys. Love it. Apricot, orange, citrus. Yes. So there you have it. So if you decide to go for this model, make sure to order an ice uh, machine, an ice nice cream maker machine um recipe uh, book especially for the ice machine you have to have something for the ice machine don't go and buy like recipe for um you know normal uh, ice creams because that's something i might do i don't know maybe i'll be like what does it matter but it does matter so it does matter because they will also be giving you the right uh, proportions for your ice machine more or less and also, this is not included, but also try to get these scrappers. Scrapers or scrappers, I don't know how you call them. There it is, guys. And as you saw, I showed you a couple of uh, recipes, very basic ingredients. It's never more than four ingredients, nothing too fancy. Um, that's it. That's it. So I'm going to stop here. And uh, I'm going to continue once we have decided upon which recipe we will be making and then share that with you plus the outcome. So in this video, you can see the whole thing. All right, for now, stand by. Guys, so this is the next day. These containers just arrived. We're not sponsored or anything. You don't have to have specifically containers of this brand, but along with your ice maker machine, you'll have, you will have to have containers because once the ice maker machine is done making your ice uh, cream recipe, you'll have to transfer it to um, a container and then the container has to go into the freezer for at least an hour or two, yeah? Because this is not a freezer. Yes, this is a self-freezing uh, ice machine, but freezing for while it's making, it's, it's churning, you know? While it's churning, whatever you, you pour in there to make it into ice, it needs to be cooled. It needs to, to be uh, frozen. So that's why it's self-freezing. But it doesn't mean that because it, it's called self-freezing that the ice cream will be in perfect condition when you take it out. So sometimes you need to help uh, things a hand. And that's definitely also for this. It's just the way it is. Uh, I don't think there's any ice cream machine that will do you give you the perfect ice cream you'll always have to take it out transfer it to a container and then put it in the freezer for an hour or two at least hello ice kunster hello <laughs> this is in the in, in german That's so a german company so this is from germany this is from germany that's to deine ice creationen mit diesem por portionen behältern ab sofort stillvoll hygienisch und and so forth and so weiter. Thank you. Spaß bei Schlemmern, Belinda. Yeah, we love to speak German. <laughs> it has this liberating way of pronouncing words, but they're beautiful. Yeah, Kudos they're for nice. Germany. Yeah. Let, let me see. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're so beautiful. They hold one liter. Yeah, I love it. I love these kind of containers. They're thick, they're rubbery, yeah, and they feel soft but sturdy. They're made for ice cream, so they, yeah. they cut, they close. Look, there's even a, a double bottom. Perfect. Can you guys see that? Yeah. You can't see it, but it's transparent. The, the bottom half is transparent. They have them in different colors, so that you can color code your um, containers. Yeah. Green. You see, these are two different colors as yeah, well. True. One is light gray, yeah. one is dark gray, so that you know which which flavor one is, is which flavor is what. Yeah. yeah, and maybe there is also a system where you can work with kind of a sticker. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Or maybe you can uh, use like a pencil that you can wipe that you can wipe away afterwards, just to know what container container contains what flavor. So the these came in a set of two. Okay, they ice cream portion and contain. Okay. Yeah, it's just just very straightforward. This is what you have. All right. So guys, yeah. So <clears throat> you do need containers, right? 
self-freezing ice cream machine again just to be very uh, clear about that does not mean that the ice cream will come out in the perfect condition and we need to have it in the perfect condition so that when you scoop it and you have those ice cream balls in your horn uh or whatever you want to uh, have it that they'll they'll be solidified a little bit yeah they I'm won't put it in my horn i'm going to put it in my spoon or your spoon yeah so they they won't start to drool immediately yeah so they'll be more solidified that's why they need to go into the freezer and that's exactly what we're going to do because we want to we want to give this machine a, a fair review so it means we're going to do the perfect conditions to get the perfect ice cream that's what we're going to do so in a bit i'm going to go and get some ingredients and then we'll start doing this and then we're going to let it uh, freeze in the freezer overnight and tomorrow we're going to come back to it and enjoy this ice cream tomorrow is cheat day for us so perfect timing guys so yes it is a double bottom mike just cleansed them see so what that means is that the um the actual container where the the ice cream will be won't be exposed directly to the freezing temperature it will be in there and and, and and to the heat and to the heat so you can leave it out and it also has anti-slip yeah but seriously i think it does something with the freezing process when it's double bottom like that i've read something about that so uh so yes yeah, so if you have the chance get something like this because you, you guys see that you know the the store bought ice cream comes in one simple container and sometimes it get it, it crystallizes it gets ice in there and with these kind of constructions the chance is maybe less not sure guys okay so it's been a week it's been a week because you know during the week who has time for this uh plus we needed to figure out some uh things so we're going to continue right now and one thing that we have learned by now is that although this thing has a big dish it's really nice if you don't fill it up because otherwise you're going to put this machine really hard to work to freeze all of that and as you guys saw by now in the first half of the video uh that, that's a challenge not only for this but also for the industrial ones so although it is big try not to fill it up all the way if you want to fill it up because you have a, a party going on or you invited your family you can do that uh let it spin let it do its round for more than an hour and then also even then when you put it in the freezer make sure that you take it out before uh, it goes beyond two to three hours tops right so you, you can still do that to get a, a, a big uh, quantity but just make sure that it doesn't stay too long in the freezer keep checking it um so anyway so uh we have found like a really basic recipe to make uh, ice cream with a coffee flavor and maybe some uh, coffee chips in there and the key here is less is more so less is always more less is always more oh. so for this recipe this recipe we're going to be needing almond, uh, almond milk one fourth cup which is 60 milliliter uh we're going to need heavy cream a half cup which is about 120 milliliter slagroom slagroom we know it slagroom slagroom slag means beet so this is whipped whipped cream, whipped cream yeah but it's not whipped yet it's not whipped no we still need to do this oh yeah this is actually a very good point that mike points out because we don't have such thing as heavy cream in holland but our heavy cream for those of you that are in in, in holland that we, we I've, I've i've noticed that we're gaining more dutch viewers more and more so welcome for the dutch viewers welcome welcome uh just get slagroom okay slagroom uh so what was i saying so half cup of slagroom <laughs> heavy cream which is the equivalent of 120 milliliter of slagroom then one fourth cup of coffee just get the strongest coffee that you can uh, get yeah we made this from our nespresso we did a review of that and just put it on the stretto yeah what else do we have here uh then one one third cup of sugar which is 67 grams and then finally one teaspoon of vanilla uh i had also rum extract here but i don't know how rum will work out but you can experiment but just to stay on the safe side we're gonna follow the recipe so one teaspoon 
Oh, and a little pinch of salt. Just Luna a little agrees. pinch. Luna agrees. Yeah, that is our Luna. Here's your little sardine. Nah. Hmm? Want the sardine? Luna is always here when we have a new machine. <laughs> Actually, one of our most viewed unboxing and reviewing <laughs> was with Luna. Anyway, so let's start, guys. Well, first, we're going to uh, mix the whole thing here and then add it in there and then do basically the same. But then today, because we have less, we really expect that with 30 minutes, we're yeah. going to get a long way. It's finished. Yeah. So let's do this. So mix everything in there and then pour it in there and let it do its round for 30 minutes. There goes the whipped cream. See how thick and rich it is. This is actually what's going to give it that silk smooth texture. Finish. Yeah. Then almond milk, uh, that would be 60 milliliter. 60? 60, yeah, 60 milliliter. Okay. It's not much. You can also uh, opt for coconut milk. We've been over the quantities actually, so let's just hope this works. Yeah, but we also have more coffee. So. Yeah, we have more coffee and we did a little bit more whipped cream. Oh, but this is just five grams, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do we have there? A pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Like a pinch. Just pinch it. Yeah. Yeah, the tip of a tip of a knife. Tip yeah. of the knife. Yes. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay. Uh, so then sh sugar. 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 We can also use honey. You can opt for honey if you want. But then. Let's look for sugar. So guys, we found our sugar. We don't have regular sugar. I don't know, for some reason I didn't get it, but I got the the bastard <laughs> sugar. Well, I don't want to offend anyone. It's raw sugar. We really call it, this is the Dutch word for it, bastard suiker. How much? Uh, 67. Are you sure that's correct? It's so Yes, hard. 67, okay. one third cup sugar, okay. he said. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that is what ice cream is. That's why people gain weight when we have a lot of ice cream because it's a lot of sugar. I always want it. Yeah, I think this is enough. Maybe we should stop at 60. 60? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Plus, we're, we're still gonna use uh, chocolate uh, things, sprinkles. sprinkles in there, so. Chocolate we sprinkles. We should be okay. Then the coffee, that's what's gonna give you the flavor. And then the vanilla, one teaspoon. It's supposed to be a little throaty already. And I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Then Mike is gonna mix it a little bit. Come on. Yeah. It's decided by now, so it should be written, so it should be done. Let's see, throw it all up. Oh yes, there it is. This, yeah. Mm. Mm. It smells good. like mocha cake. Yeah. Mocha cake. Mocha chocolate. Oh yeah, this is frothy. Throw the heck out of it. Yes, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Are you going to taste it? Yeah. I was going to be savage and taste it with my no. finger. Take then you guys going to... Mm! Oh, you guys, if you want caramel, this is true. I'm not trying to be funny. If you want to make caramel flavored something, please do this mix. It tastes like melted caramel. Oh, this is so good, Mike. This is really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, 30 minutes? Yes. So, we're going to go for 30 minutes just because it's way, 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 way less than we did last time. Uh, well, by, by last time, I mean the first part of the video. Plus, this is a much better shot. Alright, let it go. 
So the temperature is going to keep dropping, which is funny. It's going to go from 30 degree, uh, 23 degrees to minus 23 degrees. So above, so below. As above, so below. And guys, again, I really think that, yeah, well, we're going to see. We're going to see. But it's now on 30 minutes. Let's see. What, no, Mike? Because the, when the ice is freezing, it's expanding. Yeah. So this is supposed to make one and a half cup of ice. So I just think. so you know. So you're going to have plenty of uh, scoops. Uh, at least two per person. Plus, oh, this is another thing. This is another thing that uh, comes to mind. What we found out is since this cannot sit overnight in the freezer, best thing to well, do... I think this one can. Right? Yeah, because the it's too... One, because this is not water-based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Mike could be uh, on to something. The other one was water-based because when we squeezed the strawberries, there was so much water that came out of it. So, uh, and then of course, that's what water does. It freezes over. Um, but I still would, well, we're gonna find out, but I still would uh, stay on the safe side. Best thing to do is, guys, if you want everything to go fine, you can try it out. just do it. Uh, yeah, or you can try it out. I mean, this, we this, can try it out. This doesn't. Just leave a little bit and then freeze yeah. Away. Okay. And okay. Like yeah. We will do that. We'll do that. Uh, let us be the guinea pigs. Let us be the guinea pigs and spend all this money Everybody. and uh, try this. <laughs> Actually, no. This is this is like maybe the cheapest ice cream. Somebody's waiting for her dinner. She's waiting for a dinner. She's like, if you have ice cream, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> Luna is so sweet. One hour too early. Luna is Luna's, no, she's like, no, I'm not one hour too early. I want it no. Yeah. Luna? Yeah. Uh, All good things come to those who wait. Yes. Yeah. She's like, no, don't give me that. <laughs> she's so sweet. Yeah, she always waits there. And then that's the signal that we need to do something about hers. Because this one, the empty one is hers. Uh, and now she's gonna, she's gonna do dramatic. She's gonna do the sad meow. Ah. Yes, all the tricks come out now. Guys, if you wanna go all out, get these. But keep them whole because I broke the half, Ice literally. Horn. Ice horn and cheese. All right, we're gonna do Dutch lesson here. Ice horn and cheese. Uh, cacao dip, yeah? See, the rim is skipped. Uh, dipped in cacao uh, if you want to go out do this and again just keep them whole waffle cones with chocolate flavor coating uh, break them. well uh, yeah yeah we're gonna break them don't break them. oh yeah don't break them so I have three holes and other three are completely meshed because I dropped the box while they were delivering the groceries this morning but uh nothing to be sad about because you can use those shattered cones and just kind of stick them in your scoop ice scoop and then you know that's how you eat it huh yeah that's how you gotta eat it yeah i don't know how why it happens but there it is there they are let me show them to you there they are they look delicious they look delicious. And there is this mess. Then of course, if you want to keep the, uh, the calories a little bit down, don't get these because these are 472 calories per 100 grams. What? Yeah, per 100 gram. I don't want one. No, this is 100 gram. Uh, so this is 126 grams. So that is divided by six. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's about 60 calories per, per cone. So really not too bad. Look at this happy box. Love it. All right. By the way, guys, because the quantity is way lesser than what we used last time, the temperature dropped like crazy in the shortest amount of time. Yeah, you can see it's six minutes in yeah it's six minutes in and we're already at the max well it's gonna go down to 23 maybe and then it stops yeah guys so when it comes to chocolate uh, chip 
just get this. Also, if you're in Holland, just get hagelslag. This is what we normally use on bread. You smear your bread with a little bit of butter, or you can also do butter and jam, and then this on top. Yeah, I love it. It's a really typical Dutch thing. Uh, but today, since I couldn't find the other kind of chocolate chips that I wanted, uh, I got these. This should work. So we're gonna mix this in at the end when, when it's all done and everything and then give it one last mix. Guys, look at that. And that's only after 15 minutes. We're halfway. There are your scoops. Wow. Okay. So yeah. So less is definitely the way. More. Less is more. More is less. Yeah. More quantity is less quality. Less quality is more. Less quantity is more quality. It's the yin yang of ice cream. Okay, guys. So we have about nine minutes left. Look at that. This is ice cream. I'm telling you. I don't care what you say. This is the consistency of ice cream. You can even you can even hear it drag on the bottom. Oh my God, those balls got big. They were a little bit smaller, but now look at that. They're huge balls too. It freezes, it expands. Yeah, it's crazy. So, this is how crazy the weather can be in Holland. The last two days we had a storm. Some people died, some were injured, homes were broken, trees fell down, cars were total loss because of that. But today it's really, really hot. I just went outside and, and it's, 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 it's really, Tomorrow. it's the sun, the, the surface of the sun out there. But I'm telling you this because when I came back, I stayed a while out of the kitchen. When I came back, it really smells here like some sort of an ice cream parlor. I'm not kidding. So this recipe with the coffee and the whole thing that we did here with this recipe is also going to make your home smells like some ice cream parlor. So it's just a nice side effect. Yeah, and Mike was going to say tomorrow is going to be even hotter. So perfect weather to bring out your ice cream machine. So I was a little bit... Um, I, I doubted these containers, but maybe it has nothing to do with the contain containers and everything to do with what you're making, what you're putting in there. Last seven seconds, guys. Minus 25. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we already told that. So, even if you don't have the time to... Oh, look at that. This is exactly what you see in one of these big containers uh, at, at the ice cream parlor. This is exactly what you see. Look at that. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Mm. This is perfect. Yeah. We hit the perfect recipe for coffee flavored ice cream. Please look no more. Okay, so I'm now going to transfer it into this. Yeah. We're still going to put it in the freezer for an hour or two because uh, that's how long we have till it's supper. Would you do that? Or just drop it in here? I'm not quite sure how to do this because... Look at this, guys. Completely solidified. It's really completely solidified. So this is the proof. The proof is in the ice cream, not in the pudding. So again... Um, this is not a lot, but this is more than enough for two persons. And this way you're guaranteed that you're actually having day fresh ice cream. Yeah, we put in some sprinkles. Yeah, these sprinkles. Chocolade flocke. Chocolade flocke. Flakes. It's almost like English. But then I, I guess because you guys have a lot of Dutch words in your language, so maybe this could be one of these. Yeah, so that's not that's not bad. And 
it's melting rapidly. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Homemade. It's homemade. So there are no additives. Exactly. So uh, that's what you want. But that's why it has to go into the freezer for at least an hour or two. Everyone keeps advising that. Yeah, guys. We're really not trying to be funny or cool. It tastes really good. I'm not just saying this for the sake of the video. It tastes really, really good. So we're going to scrap the bottom. Because look, that much is in there. Wow, that, that's at least half a scoop. Yeah, you should easily get four scoops out of this. Easily, I think. What do you think, Michael? Maybe three? Four? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Bet between three and four. Yeah. So, guys, we are now so confident that we decided we're going to do another batch. Uh, uh, yeah. not because From some ingredients we still had the half of it left and you and uh, like the heavy cream that's not something it's really fresh that's not something that you can uh save for too long even in the fridge it will be a waste we don't like that so we decided to to do this and then finish the ingredients and you know that's it now that we know for sure that it works why not so i'm not going to show you this because that will be redundant we already did this it's exactly the same recipe the other one is already in the fridge. Will you take bolletjes? Yeah, Mike is asking me if I want two scoops. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's homemade, so it's gonna melt a little bit quicker. Oh man, let, let me taste it for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Seriously, if you love coffee flavored ice cream, this recipe is the best. This is honestly one of the best ice creams that I've had coffee flavored. So guys, yes, the Klarstein self-freezing ice maker is wonderful and does what it promised and is worth the money. That's one. Another thing that we can conclude in wrapping up this video is we now showed you the basis for basically any recipe, any flavored recipe you want to have. Um, the only thing that you need to change in every recipe to get a different flavor is basically the coffee. Yeah. So it's the coffee that does the flavor. That's the element that you're going to change. Now, you know that 425 milliliter of heavy cream, you're going to need 60 milliliter of any kind of fluid, which is going to give the flavor. So you can also, let's say if you want orange flavored, go for fresh squeezed 60 milliliter, uh, orange juice. So that's, that's the thing you're going to be changing. Keep the recipe as it is. Change only the thing that will give it the flavor. And whatever that is, if you're going to do this recipe, that must be 60 milliliter of any kind of uh, flavoring fluid. There you have it. I love it. I'm honestly, I, I, I love this and I love this ice machine, the Klarstein. And there's nothing more I can add to it. Here's to you. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Good job. High five, Mike. All right, we're going to enjoy it because yeah. it's melting. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and all that. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching and enjoy your ice cream. Also, it's Mike's birthday tomorrow. So if you're watching this, wish him happy birthday in the comment box. And this is a perfect way to treat him. We're going to make more ice creams tomorrow because it's still it's still very, very hot it's days. Melting. Yes. I, all right. I should do voiceover. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Bye.